Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I am finally doing a linen closet organization video. I don't know why it's taken me this long. For some reason I've been putting it off, but today is the day. So I am coming to you today from my linen closet, which is in the upstairs hallway right here. And I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. What we're currently using this linen closet for is Ryan has taken it upon himself to use it as his personal gym clothing closet. So let's take a look. What are you doing? This is my gym closet. There is a system that you don't understand. It took years to develop this system. Yeah, I know. And really quickly, before we jump into the organization, I do wanna say if you are new here to my channel, please hit that red subscribe button. I do organizing, cleaning, and different home and lifestyle videos here on my channel, and I would love to have you as a subscriber. So with all of that said, we're actually doing this video in a little bit different style. I'm gonna do it more of an organize with me. So let me know in the comments if you prefer this style or a voiceover, just so I know for the future. So the first step in organizing any space is to completely empty the space and do some decluttering. So I have some personal guidelines that I like to follow just to keep my linens in order and so I don't have more than I need. The first is that I have three bath towels per person in the house and then I have three extra guest towels. I limit myself to one extra sheet set per bed and then any old towels that are kind of ragged and you don't need them anymore, one thing you could do is cut them up and use them as cleaning rags. That's what I did recently and I think it's a really good way to repurpose old items that you're not using. Step number two is to measure and plan. This is something that's really important. I realized while I was measuring this space that all of the shelves are not equal. So that was really good to know when shopping for different baskets and bins and materials, what size you're working with. And an extra step that I like to do, it's is totally optional, but I do recommend it, is draw out a quick little diagram of what your space looks like with the measurements, and then try to plot out where you think different buckets of items need to go. So that way, when you go shopping for your materials, you could be laser focused on exactly what you need. All right, so now that this is all cleaned out, we're gonna get to the fun part, which is organizing. Typically in any linen closet, the top shelf is where there's gonna be the most space. So this is a great place to put bulkier items like blankets, pillows, but also you wanna put items that you're using the least on top just because it's not as easily accessible. So what I'm putting on top are extra blankets and seasonal items. Now, as you can see here, I already went ahead and I labeled all of the bins. And I think labeling is something that just takes your organization to the next level, but it's not just for looks. It's really functional to have everything labeled because then the other people in your household who are trying to use the system know where things go and know where to find things. And for the seasonal items, a tip I have is to use space saver bags. I showed this in a recent video of mine. I am now obsessed. They save so much space. All you need is a vacuum and you suck the air out and you can dramatically increase your storage space. So I have some seasonal items that we don't currently need in these storage bags and I'm gonna pop them on top. The next shelf down is where I decided to put extra household items. So toilet paper, cleaning supplies, toiletries, things like that. So this first basket has extra toilet paper and I got these baskets along with all the other ones from Target. And these are things that I do like to get in person. I go into Target with my measuring tape just to make sure that the bins and baskets I get are the right size. In this next basket, I have extra toiletries and cleaning supplies. We do have a two-story house, so I like to keep an extra set of things up here. So just in case there's an emergency situation, I have my supplies. Now the middle shelves in your linen closet is where you wanna put the items that you are reaching for and using the most because that is right at eye level. That's the easiest to reach. So I'm designating these shelves for towels. So I'm subgrouping our towels by type. First are our nicer guest towels. And then in this basket are our bath towels. And just side note, I just picked up these towels from Amazon. They had insanely good reviews and I love them. The price is right. So I did get new towels for the house. And I do like white towels because you could throw them in the wash on an extra hot cycle and really clean them and sanitize them and not worry about the color fading or bleeding. This is starting to look good, you guys. In the next basket, I have hand towels and extra washcloths. And next to that, I'm putting our beach and pool towels. So on the next shelf down, I am putting all of our sheets. 
This basket has Carter's crib sheets and mattress covers in it. Next to that are extra bed sheets. I have one extra set for the king size bed and one extra set for the queen size bed in the guest room. And a little tip with sheets is to store your entire sheet set in the pillowcase just to keep everything together. And then on the very bottom of the linen closet, I'm putting this hamper and I wanna use this hamper as just the towel hamper because I do like to wash those separately. So we could put all of our towels in one place when I do a wash. And I did do an entire separate video all about laundry and tips and tricks. So if you're interested in that, I will link it down below. And last but not least, depending on your linen closet setup, you can even think about adding extra storage on the back of the door. We wanna maximize all of the storage space we have in our home and this is one that I used in my recent bathroom organization video that I thought would also work well on the back of this door and what I'm going to use this for is storing extra diapers and wipes that we like to keep upstairs in our house and just to be clear those are diapers for my son Carter who's two not for me all right so this works perfectly and I do have enough space that this fits all right so here's the linen closet all put together and finished and I cannot tell you how much I love this. So one little finishing touch that you can do is make a DIY fabric refreshing spray that you could keep in your linen closet and you can spray all of your bed sheets and linens before you use them just so they're nice and fresh. So it's incredibly easy to make. All you need is a four ounce spray bottle, add three ounces of water, one ounce of witch hazel, and then about 15 drops of your favorite essential oil. You guys know by now I use essential oils for everything. So I wanted to do a little citrus blend for this. So I did five drops of grapefruit, five drops of lemon, and five drops of mandarin. And it just smells so good. It's totally natural and I'm just gonna keep this here in my linen closet So when I want to freshen things up and I want anything to smell nice I will just do a few spritzes. All right, so that is it for my linen closet organization video I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have to say this is one of my favorite organization projects I've ever done I thought it might be excessive and not necessary, but having this here is just so aesthetically pleasing it is so nice to look at and it makes me want to be more organized with our linens and household items so i highly recommend you guys do this if you do take a picture and tag me on instagram and i will repost your linen closet recreations on my instagram stories again let me know in the comments if you prefer this more casual talk through style organization video or my typical voiceover style with all of that said thank you guys as always so much for watching and i will see you soon with a new video bye